Hello everyone, it's Steamboy27. Let's take on stage number one. Again. Yes, the treasure gem is underneath the pyramid. A pyramid nobody decided to explore until now. Let's get ready, I guess. And we get we get missiles fired at us once again. I'll put up the tracers. The missiles can go through a yellow ship, so don't worry about it. Only worry about yourself. And these Galinga Beetle things. And these Gundam. You do get points for killing these though, so I guess you should. I really don't care though about points in these kind of games. Rail shooters. Does this count as a rail shooter? I guess it does. Since you can't really move, you can only turn your turn on a Z axis. Whoa! whoa, whoa. <laughs> so, ow! So, like I have done, I recommend that you take the time to just take a break from watching this between difficulties because it will get dry. Although, for the sake of completeness, I am doing this because you get more story the harder the difficulty. I might do some special stuff like collecting all of the tricky birds or something like that in the mini game, but uh, depends on how masochistic I feel. And I'm not feeling very masochistic. Ow! Oh, what hit me? The, the the airplane? I guess that kind of makes sense. Ow! Can I get off now? All right, we're off. Killing things and saving gnomes. Hey, hello gnome. Allow me to bust your house open so I can get life. That is how things work in this game. Ow. Now these guys are from a certain game too, like just like Tricky is from, just like those Tricky birds are from Tricky, but I don't know where they're from. I may know a lot of classic games, but not really, really, really old classic games like like that. Ow. Give me that life. There we go. Ooh, what a jerk. I'll show you. Alright. Alright, gnome people. Just uh, sit back while I kill this giant flower thing that totally doesn't look like a phallus, but anyway. And his, and his friend, the, uh, Caterpillar. Explosive Caterpillar, yes. Yes, I forgot. All Caterpillars are explosive and giant. Alright, let's get some health out of this thing. And one more. Let's move on. Doing alright. Look at all these gnome people. Look at all of them. So many of them. There's like 13. Oh man, I'm getting some cell phone static. Get out of here, cell phone. Alright, we're good. Alright, let's grab some trickies. As well as kill turtle shell things. Turtle shell aliens. Come on. There we go. Heck, I'll go for it. I'll go for all of each. Ow, oh, maybe not. I might go for all the tricky birds in one one go. Just because I feel like it. I don't know how many there are. There's 16. Right, right, right. One. Two. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Close. Do I have them all? Not yet. Kick. Whoa, whoa, oh no! They're all there they all go. Oh, that was a sad ending. Just this once, I'll get all 16. Even though it's a complete waste of time. Since points grant you nothing in this game. Crap. Keep going, keep running. 
No, not again. Okay. Last try. And this one first. It's trouble. Get out. There we go. Curse you, Z axis. It's like those pachinko ball games you play on the, uh. You don't play. No, they're just like separate games. What do I got? I should have all 16 now. Oh, it didn't count because I freaking whatever. That was perfect. I got all 16 at once. Just because they didn't give me the cool 10,000 points does not it means nothing. I got all 16 at once. That's all that matters. Now we proceed to uppercut everything that's in our way. Sure you can. Sure you can. One. Ow. How dare you. I can't tell if these guys are robots or not. As they all explode when I kill them. Okay. Not messing around. I... There we go. Let's get some points while we're at it. Alright, that was, that was okay. And we'll do the same, the same strategy as last time. Yes, yes, we know who you are. It's not our first time, you know. Honestly, I have no idea why they thought this was a good idea. All you do is get out from under them and shoot them until they die. They don't even put up a fight. They don't even try and reach out of the car and try and shoot you. No, they don't, they don't do anything. They'll just freak out and they'll just freak out and do nothing. And there you have it. Beaten six minutes and thirty seconds. All right. Oh, well, she just flat out said it's a girl. Really, I should doc. I should edit the wiki page because the the English version kind of kind of doesn't. That oh wow, kind of states that it's like an androgynous character. You can put whatever gender you want, but she just said little girl. So why hasn't anyone caught this? Well, okay. And it tries to communicate with us, but we don't hear it. Oh well. Let's move. We, let's do this again as blue. Let's go. Apparently, the gems were symbols of the native tribes. Through generations, they appeared on burial sites. It explains why there's one inside the pyramid. So there's more than one. Like I said, things don't exactly make sense in this game. Uh, like I said, little tidbits of information that don't necessarily make any sense. Which, the gems are parts, the gems are pieces of gold and silver, the final boss, the gems are tribal symbols that are seen throughout the land. Is this the real one? Is it a fake one? Who knows? Game and consistency. This doesn't make sense. This is, but then again, this isn't a game you play for story. It's a game you play to just shoot things. Why else do you play arcade games? You don't play arcade games for the story. No, no. You you do it so you can beat up people. I didn't care about Billy Lee's girlfriend in Double Dragon. I just I just wanted to beat up people. I didn't care what my I didn't care what Ryu had to do, and when I was playing Ninja Gaiden, I, I was just a ninja. I just sh I just killed people with my shurikens and my flame wheels. In this game, I don't care about the story really. The story is just too confusing to care about it. I only care about shooting with my gun, cause it's fun. Getting a high score, doing it the fastest time, things like that. That's what an arcade game is for, not necessarily for the story. Although this is true, I am really ticked off at the the way they tried to handle it. Can I get off now? Let me off. Alright, let's go. 
You know, I'm not even gonna go for the life. I'm just gonna speed right through. Get on my way, car. No, no one likes your style. Get out of here. Forget you. Ow. Forget you. Get out of my way. We're done here. Die. What's that, Caterpillar? You want some? Too bad. If you see if you can play if you play the game like this, it can be very quick. Ow. Get out of my face. Ah. Come on. There we go. Some life. Of course, not all stages can be played this way. Some of them are rail shooters, like the abandoned mine. Let's go. Let's go, gnomes. Even though I didn't rescue all of you. Now we gotta go get tricky. Alright, let's try one more time. Let's try getting all the things one more time. Ha! They didn't get me this time, jerk. How's that? Alright, how many more are there? There's one. Two. Is that everything? There we go, that's perfect. I like that. I was faster than last time too. Time to go. Sure you can. Sure you can. Sure you can. Again, I have no idea whether these guys are robots or not. They explode when you kill them. Does that mean they're suicide bombers? If so, that's a, that's a sad life. Also, unexplained guardian of the temple. Hey, 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 back off! Uh, no, get, back. Wait, what? You turn around before you crush me into the wall. Huh, never noticed. Well, since he doesn't do anything aggressive, I guess we just just go. That's that's it. Game. That's it. The more and more I play this game, the more I realize how half-assed it was. Yet it has a nostalgia factor. All right. Uh, die. Laser gun, and that's it. That's all we do. It seems like every boss is just programmed badly. Badly enough for me to kill them without really much of a fight. And that, that, that was even faster than the last time. Apparently pink was poor. And so the blue treasure gem was acquired. Even in the future, conflict cannot be avoided. What does this mean for mankind? It's like profound questions for profound questions come from blue story and uh, red just gets some sort of story. Honestly, I'm not a fan, but oh well, I like the game. And once again, this is Steamboat27, forgetting he has an outro, wishing you a brighter tomorrow. Have a good day, everyone.